right, if you're watching this portion of the video training, uh, that means you are going to be installing the fence. Um, the tree is already in the ground and the posts have been installed by forestry staff. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is put up straps and wire. We have these green straps here. Uh, you'll just wrap them around the tree and put your wire through the grommets and then wrap the wire around itself just to get it tight and then once you finish that run to the post you want to try and make sure that the tree is straight up and down it's not leaning to one side and then you'll just wrap the wire around the post if you have a lot of extra wire you can just keep wrapping it around the post until you get the right amount wrap around the wire again and then go to the other side. Uh, we use the straps and wire to hold the tree in place um, until it gets established. Um, usually that's two years. And then forestry staff uh, will come back after those two years and remove it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a fence around all four posts. We're going to be using some zip ties, which I have over here. And the easiest way to do this, it's really nice if you have a partner to help you out with this. Um, just kind of hold it in place. I will be able to manage to do this on my own. So you just want to secure the fence to the post. We're going to do it at least in two spots. Um, you could probably do it in three if it seems like it's that's not sufficient. I'm just going to go ahead and do it in three spots. Okay. We're going to take the fence. The fence should all be pre-cut. Um, we shouldn't have any issues. You just need to wrap it around. We're going to try and get all sides nice and tight. And what we want it to, we want it to overlap the mulch a little bit. I don't know if you can see that in the video. The mulch should come over just a little bit. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this is for deer rabbit protection. Um, Deer during the fall and winter uh, also from rubbing on the tree but also from eating the apples or, or the pear or plum and then the rabbits mainly just in the winter when they're foraging looking for food so we'll get it nice and tight and then we'll use our zip ties again to tighten it up and I should note that it is good to wear gloves. Uh, there can be some sharp edges here where the fence has been cut. So it's always a good idea to have some gloves on. And we'll use three zip ties again. On top, one on the bottom, one in the middle. Let's try and get it as tight as we can. And what we'll do, yeah, so that is the installation of the fence and putting the, the straps and the wire on to keep the, the tree stable. Um, that should be everything. Thanks for helping out.